All right, so we are going to start to learn how to make some uh, cool lighting effects like you're in outer space. Uh, so the first step you need to do is open uh, Adobe Photoshop and you're going to create a new file, file, new, and we're going to name this, uh, let's just call it light one, and we're going to make the width 1440 pixels by 900 pixels, make our resolution 1000 and our color mode RGB. If you don't make this RGB, our lens flare will not work. 16-bit color mode, and let's make the background white. Once you've done that, click OK. All right. Now, once we have a white layer in front of us, you are going to add a new layer into your layers palette. By clicking at the bottom of your layers palette, click the new layer swatch. So layer one. And we are going to call, we can keep this one called layer one. Uh, and then we're going to fill it with black. So you're going to use your paint bucket and black paint and fill it with black paint. Then you are going to go to the layer drop down menu, layer, layer style, gradient overlay. You can also get to your layer options simply by clicking or double clicking layer one and they'll pop up. Okay. So now in here you want to be in blending options and click on gradient overlay. You're going to change your gradient overlay settings to have the opacity be 49%. You're gonna change your, your gradient style to radial and you're going to change the scale to 88% and then click okay. Now you should have something that looks similar to this. Once you do that, do Command S and, and save your file. Uh, just save it to your desktop or your documents, wherever you feel like saving it. All right, now our second step, we're going to create another new layer. This time we're going to fill it with white. So just swap your colors down there. And we're going to go to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. Now, if lighting effects is grayed out, you have to come up here to image mode and switch it to RGB, okay? So you wanna be filter, render, lighting effects. Change the preset in the top left corner here where it says custom to RGB lights. Actually, let's we're going to hit cancel on that. We are actually going to do it a different way. So we're going to do filter, render, lighting effects. Keep it as is. Okay, you're not going to do anything with the preset. Um, and then set the properties to match the way I'm going to set them over here. So keep color at 60, hotspot at 96, exposure at 0, gloss at 4, Metallic at negative 100 and ambiance at 6. So that's how your properties should all look. Once they look like that, click OK. All right. Now your next step, we're going to add a Gaussian blur onto these this RGB color. So you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Change your radius to 80 pixels right here and then click OK. And now it should be very, very, very blurry. The last thing here uh, will change the blend mode to overlay. So in your layers palette, you're going to change that blend mode down to overlay. And that should give you kind of a black splotch on the center. All right, then you're gonna do another Command S to save your work. Our next step is to create the stars layer. Uh, so before we do that, we're going to name layer two, we'll just call this RGB. All right, now to create the stars layer, it's actually relatively easy. We need to create another new layer in your layers palette and fill it with black. So we're gonna name this layer stars and use our paint bucket to fill it with black. Oops, switch my colors black back. Uh, so you're gonna fill it with black. And you're going to, going to change the blend mode to screen. Okay. 
After that, you're going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, change the amount to 10%, Distribution to Gaussian, and check off Monochromatic. Once you've done that, click OK. You'll have a layer full of noise. Then you're going to create the stars. Uh, to do this, just change the levels of the layer. So you're going to want to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. For the input levels, use 65, 1, and 99. And then click OK. And you're going to do the same process a second time. Image, Adjustment, Levels. And this time you're going to take your middle, uh, the middle slider and slide it all the way to the left. What that, what's that going, what that is going to do, it should have, why is it not snapping? Let's cancel, let's try that again. So we're going to go to image, adjustments, levels and then slide your gray slider to the left to until you have the amount of stars you want to have in your galaxy. And if you want a lot of stars, slide it all the way to the left. If you just kind of want the stars scattered about, so the brightest ones are the ones that pop out, that's what I'm going to choose. That one's up to you, that's your decision. So go ahead and click OK, and then save, Command S. Um, now it's time to make the nebula, okay? So we're going to make a new layer. We're gonna name that layer nebula, N-E-B-U-L-A. All right, and uh, da, 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 da. we're gonna to go to filter, render, clouds. Now it should look like this, like gray clouds there. Make sure that your background and foreground colors are black and white, which they are, background black, foreground, excuse me, foreground black, background white. Then just add some layer styles. So we're going to add a layer and then layer styles. Blending options, and we're going to go into uh, the blending options blend mode. We're gonna turn that into overlay. After that, we're going to select Gradient Overlay and change that blend mode to Overlay as well. And then for the blend mode, you want to use the colors Cyan, Green, Yellow, and Red. So if you don't have that default gradient, which you probably don't, we're going to have to make one. So just single click the gradient bar. And what I'm going to do is use one of these pre set gradients and just tweak my colors. So we just want to have cyan, green, and yellow. All right, this actually isn't very cyan, but it's close. This is more cyan. All right, so cyan, green, and yellow. Cyan, green, yellow, red, in that order, okay? Once you've done that, click OK, and you should see that reflected here in your gradient overlay preview. Um, we are also going to change the angle to 130 degrees and the scale to 49 degrees. Once you've done that, click OK. All right, now we're going to add a lens flare. So we're going to make another new layer, name it lens flare and we're going to fill this layer with black so use your paint bucket tool fill with black um, now after you fill it with black we're going to change the order of some of our layers here in our layers palette so this time we are going to put the layer on top of the background but beneath the other layers so it's going to be right here Okay, and make sure this layer is named Lens Flare. So now we're going to go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. 
going to change it to the 105 millimeter prime with your brightness at 100%. And then click OK. So we actually want to have this one above that first black layer. So it should be nebula, stars, RGB, lens flare, layer one, background. That's the order. You want to have that lens flare right up in there. All right. Now our next step, we're going to add some rays of light. So if you haven't saved, let's do another command S to save. So we're going to add some fun rays of light. Now, if this is where you want to stop, that's totally fine. Um, but we can also add a little bit more detail. The more layers that you have, the more uh, visually interesting it is to look at. So we're going to create a new layer on top of our lens flare layer. And we're going to name this one Rays of Light. Help if I could spell correctly. All right. So we're going to name this Rays of Light. Then select the rectangular marquee tool over in our toolbar. Click and drag that down to be about as half the height of your um, artboard. <clears throat> and create rectangular selection. Use the image uh, on the directions that you're following. If you have printout directions to kind of see the gauge um, of where I need it to be. So you want it to be about as half as tall as your artboard. After you've selected that, select the brush tool by clicking the paintbrush over here or just hitting the B key on your keyboard. We're going to change the brush size to 800 pixels. So 800 pixels. Once you've done that. All right, we have this ginormous brush now. Uh, the 800 pixels in diameter and make sure that the hardness is 0%, although I'm pretty sure it's defaulted to zero, but you just wanna make sure. We're going to select the white paint. So switch your foreground and background color here. So we're gonna be painting with white. And with a bit of the brush inside the marquee, so this in my case would be the top of the brush, just a little bit of it is going to go inside. I'm going to paint maybe two clicks, and I've painted white in there, okay? See, so if I hide all these layers, see there's some white paint right there. All right, um, so just two clicks is fine. You paint a little bit of white paint on the inside, and then you're going to deselect the marquee by hitting Command D to get rid of those dancing ants. Um, and then our final and last step in you know, that you just now have to duplicate and resize and transform any of these uh, light rays that you've got going. So the one I just made, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. And see how the RGB kind of reflects off of that light ray we just made with the white paint. And it kind of really gives it this really neat sharp edge. You can duplicate that layer multiple times. You can rotate it a little bit more, make it smaller. kind of you know, make it interesting right or you don't need to use them at all okay this is just another cool technique for you guys to uh, learn about for some of your projects that we've been doing so uh, save your work command s and move on to the next tutorial that you need to great job